So this lesson focused on the standard form of linear equations and I had a question from Shakir uh, who needed to know how to convert y equals 2x minus 7 to standard form. So we'll use that information as our basis here. Uh, Shakir, the standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by equals c. Now what that means is, and uh, spe specifically that this coefficient here, that a is positive. What that means is that in order for it to be written in standard form, x and y both have to be on one side of the equation, and we should have some constant on the other side of the equation, and whatever number of x's we have needs to be positive. The coefficient of x needs to be positive. Now in your sample information, y equals 2x minus 7, you have some of that information. You have y, and you have x with a coefficient, but it's on the wrong side and you have a constant set negative 7. Now it's on the right, it's on the correct side, but it's got that x to deal with. So what we need to do is take your information and convert it so that it's in this form. So we have x and y on the same side and that coefficient of x is positive. So let's take a look at yours step by step and sort of convert it to that format. So y equals 2x minus 7. If we first take that 2x and move it to the other side, we're going to need to subtract it from both sides to move it over. So we'll have negative 2x plus y equals negative 7. And now we're close. In fact, we're almost there. But the coefficient of x right now is negative, so we need to get rid of that negative sign. And we can do that by dividing by negative 1. That won't change any of the numbers, but it'll change that sign. So if we divide both sides by negative 1, this negative 2 will become a positive 2. We'll have 2x this negative y would become, a, or positive y would become a negative y, so we'll have minus y equals, and then this will become a positive also, 7. So 2x minus y equals 7. And if you wanted to write it with x uh, having just a 1 as a coefficient, you could divide everything by 2, and you'd have x minus 1 half of y equals 7 halves. That's really not necessary, but it, it is a little bit more common for that to be a coefficient for x at all. As long as it's positive, though, that's just fine. So there's your equation written in standard form. Now let's do one or two more just for practice. Let's say we have um, 2y equals 3x plus 6. So again, we want to get the x and the y on the same side. So let's move the 3x over, and we'll get negative 3x plus 2y equals 6. And then we'll divide everything by negative 1. That'll give us positive 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. So now we have it in standard form. This, by the way, almost yours, definitely, because the y coefficient of y is 1. This is y equals mx plus b form. Uh, point slope form, I'm sorry, slope intercept form, which is also very common and it's great for graphing, but the standard form has other uses, so it's very convenient to be able to switch from one to the other without too much work. Um, and you can see it's not that hard with a little bit of practice. So just put your x and y on the same side, make sure your coefficient of x is positive, and that any numbers, any constants you have are on the other side. There you go.